Hey everyone, this is Anton from Mixbox Studio, and in this video I'm going to go through using transport controls from Machine Mark III into Pro Tools. I'm going to go through using Machine Mark III or Pro Tools in the following way. Firstly, the controller assignment, then secondly, I'll go through setup in Pro Tools, and then thirdly, I'll show you Machine Mark III in a session. So let's get started by looking at the controller assignment. So the first thing we do is we need to launch the controller to do the assignment. So within Native Instruments, we're going to find the controller editor, and we're going to launch that. So the first thing we need to do within the controller is set up the CC numbers that correspond to the transport controls within Pro Tools. So let's start with Play. So within Play, we then go to Assign. You have to make sure that you've got Control Change here, Channel 16, and Number 117, which is the corresponding CC number for Play. This needs to be in Toggle. Then let's go to the next one, which is Record. We'll record again it needs to say control change channel 16 and it's number 118 for record and then mode toggle and for stop same process now with number 116 loop which is number 113 rewind number 114 and fast forward which is number 115 what I'll do within the comment sections below is provide a copy of this template that you could load into your controller and use that if you wish. So once you've made these changes, you then need to save it. So you do save configuration, give it a name, let's say Pro Tools with machine. And you see here it saves it into the machine templates, which is applications, Native Instruments, Controller Editor, and then Machine Templates. So as you can see here, I've got three templates, the default one, Melodics, and Pro Tools. Next, we're gonna set up the MIDI controller within Pro Tools. So in Pro Tools, we'll need to do the setup of the MIDI controller. So this is a session that I've just opened. I've got a setup, and then within setup, choose Peripherals, and then with Peripherals, we make sure we're on the tab MIDI Controllers. The MIDI controllers, as you can see, I've got it set up here as an M audio keyboard, and then that's routed to the Machine Mark III virtual input, not the standard Machine Mark III needs to be the virtual input. And then for the Send 2, needs to be the Machine virtual output. Once that's done, it pre-configures with uh, MIDI Track 8, and you click OK. Now, when I went into that the first time round, I couldn't actually see the virtual input and output. So what you need to do, if that's the case for you, is go in here to set up MIDI and MIDI input devices and make sure that your Machine Mark III virtual input is enabled by ticking this box here. If that's done, you should be able to see it in the previous setup peripherals menu that I went through. Now in this Pro Tools session, let's add in a machine. So track, new, stereo, instrument track, let's just call that machine mark three. Now that track's created, let's add in the plugin. Go down here, native instruments, and then machine two. So here's the application uh, for machine. What we'll do is choose from groups here, and I'll just pick one uh, of the drum kit groups here. So let's go with the Acid Kit. So that's loaded. I can press Play in Pro Tools, and that plays the pattern within Pro Tools. So I press Play within Pro Tools, and that played the pattern on the Machine Mark III. So now let's see if we select uh, Play on the Machine Mark III. Here we go, play works, and I can press stop. So now I'm controlling the Pro Tools uh, transport controls from the Machine Mark III with the play and the stop. And also I've got record, loop, forward, and rewind. And that's working uh, when I'm in the Machine Mark III standard 
mode and not in the MIDI mode. If you find that the play and stop uh, doesn't work, sometimes what you need to do is go to shift MIDI channel and again just make sure that your Pro Tools is loaded here. Try your play and it works and then just come out into the standard operating windows. That's my overview of using Machine Mark III as transport control of Pro Tools. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do click the like button and subscribe and see you in the next video.